Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show, and I'm doing some testing today with the target tracking on the freestyle. I'm actually kind of excited about this because it opens up some possibilities on uh, surfaces that are a little bit difficult to track. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this wall that's in front of me, and you'll see that there really isn't much there. It's just a plain wall, uh, nothing there. And this is where the freestyle is going to have some problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up on the uh, uh, keep my camera uh, mounted here on the tablet and I'm just going to hit the, the start button start scanning and what you'll notice is that this is going to sit on the wall and it's going to say uh, well not sure can't really pick anything up it's not going to start tracking because there's nothing to track it's just a plain flat wall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break here I'm going to put some of the targets uh, that come with the, uh, the unit uh, up on the wall and I'll show you what the difference is like Okay, so I'm back here, and what I have in front of me are the targets uh, that are supplied with the uh, Freestyle or something you can uh, purchase, I guess. But these are peel and stick targets. Um, they are very much like photogrammetry targets. Uh, I'm a photo model user, and they look uh, very much uh, identical to those targets. So what's unique about these is that each one of these is coded, and you'll see that the ring has these little, uh, I don't know, call them little bits or, or, or uh, uh, notches, whatever you want to call them, but um, that makes them unique so that you can track and identify each one of these targets uh, in the scans. So uh, what I've done here, and I'll put these down here, is I've actually set up the wall now, let me point it here, so that I've got a whole bunch of these targets here, like that. So it does a couple of things. One is that the black and white features actually allow you to track um, something on the wall, but the fact that it actually picks up the um, the fact that it actually picks up the, the target as, a, as a, something unique is qu quite interesting. And the reason that um, I want to get this out there is that I've noticed that the registration results seem to be better. So in the options here, okay, there's a little button here for options. You probably can't see it, but you have to turn it on, okay? It says detect marker. Make sure you turn that on first. And I'm going to shut that down. I'll leave the, um, I'll leave the camera set on the, uh, the unit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, get this going here in a second and just start uh, scanning the wall just really slowly and I'll just do a small piece of it. So it's already uh, picked up here so that's good and what I'm going to start doing is just slowly kind of going over the targets and it's a little difficult to see on the left there but in the 3D view you'll see that there's actually little dots that are appearing. Those are the, the target, uh, uh, the, the coded targets. So they're actually coming up as unique uh, points which is kind of nice and um, yeah, like I said, what I found really interesting about this was that it really um, looks like the registration results are improved. Um, so I don't see a lot of noise, I don't see a lot of floating points, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but um, it would seem to me that it is using the, uh, uh, it's using these coded targets for registration. Um, and uh, the initial tracking is improved, and so I'm hoping that the post-processing is also improved. I haven't even done that yet, so uh, I'm not sure what that's going to end up looking like, but I have a feeling that it is going to look much better. So um, I'm just going to stop this in a second. I guess I could do it a little faster and maybe a little bit more dense, but uh, I think you guys get the idea. So I'll stop this. Okay, let me put this down and then I'll get back to here and I'll show you what's going on here. So uh, if I zoom in on the 3D view, Okay, you'll see that it's got these, it may be a little difficult to see, but there is in fact targets there. But when I go to the side, I'm finding that it's really tight, really, really tight um, in terms of the registration. So I don't know, I'll have to uh, check this out. I want to investigate it. I think this could bring up a lot of opportunities on things that are uh, often problematic. So let's say, for example, cars or uh, just areas where you have walls. You know, if you wanted to do a larger room, uh, you could probably do a lot better job by... Um, uh, using targets set up all around and uh, closing that loop on the registration will obviously help you as well. So um, lots more to experiment with here but uh, keep this in mind you have uh, an option to use targets now with the freestyle and uh, hopefully that helps you. Thanks a lot.